are you in the control of mind or mind is controlling you and then swami very beautifully that day he said mind is bundle of thoughts you want to calm your mind remove one by one one by one all the thoughts you remove when you remove the thoughts mind is clean mind is clear swami says if you think positively sound can become music movements can become dance mind can become meditation everything is a reflection of our mind om shri sai ram i offer my humble pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved bhagwan respected elders my dear brothers and sisters of sai family and my dear dear loving students and the vibrant active samarpan team my loving greetings to all of you <clears throat> good evening sai mumbai good evening spiritual mumbai just outside the campus we have thousands and thousands of people running around racing around in the path of life want to achieve something want to reach a particular goal in their life for their name for the fame what not but today this evening in dharmakshetra we are here swami says without my will even the blade of grass will not move if we have been moved from our home to this holy place we are all doubly blessed and we are blessed because he has attracted us here and next few minutes we are going to be with him thank you for being here thank you for bringing me here samarpan as he said is an excellent platform wherein it is a spiritual gathering you can say spiritual satsang you must have heard many standing here and sharing beautiful moments of their life with this beautiful lord and many more to come and will continue to happen with this beautiful team and with the grace of our divine lord <clears throat> in this platform we said satsang swami said satsang is good company samarpan is in the company of god we are here at his lotus feet this evening seeking his love and blessings <clears throat> today my topic my baba ji the next one hour or so let us spend this beautiful moments in the contemplation of this divine lord baba ji ji G is guide baba ji is a guru baba ji is god how this baba ji guided me in this life how this baba ji as guru taught me many things in this life how this baba ji as god loved me protected me and made me stand today in front of you i vow i indebted to him all through my life it is because of him 
I am here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Lord, for making my life a success story. I want to take up how Baba Ji, as guide, some incidents from my life, Baba Ji as Guru, some incidents in my life, and as God as well. So let us take up one by one. Swami always says this statement you must have heard. Don't walk in front of me. I may not lead you. I may not follow you. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead you. But just walk beside me and be my friend. Yes, this is very much true in my life. When I felt as a guru, there was distance, fear. He's somewhere, something to learn. So I developed the distance between me and the guru. When I felt that he's God, fear. He knows everything. He will catch me on the wrong side. Fear. Again, there was a barrier. But as Swami said, when I accept him as my friend, no fear, no barrier, and no distance because you can be very close and very free with your friend. So treat him as your friend. In this context, I would like to narrate one instant wherein somewhere in 1975, I had health issues and doctor, after diagnosing, he said, this guy had heart attack. Because one, it used to recur quite often and one month it was very bad, excruciating pain, sweating, my left side became numb, everything became dark, and I know that I'm going to leave this world, I mean leave this body. That was the condition where when doctor declared that he had heart attack and he needs to be careful, and he needs a lot of bed rest, and I was arrested in the house, given rest for my academics. So I did not go to college. When I was studying in Chennai, that time it was 10th standard, and then 11th standard, otherwise it is called SSLC, Secondary School Living Certificate. And, and then we go for pre-university course, so only one year. So I was doing M by PC, physics, maths, chemistry, and biology. Halfway through, cut short, and I could not continue my studies. Then my family came to Parthi for Swami's blessings. And as usual, this mischievous Lord Krishna, when you want, he will ignore you. When you ignore him, then he will come to you. So we desperately want an interview, want to have a word, want to have assurance. And the distance became more and more. He ignored. Then one fine morning, okay, whenever you want, you give interview. Forget it. We are not going to ask. The next day morning, we got the interview. Love my uncertainty. That is his clarion call. So there he called us. And in the interview room, after all that family interview, he looked at me and said, Hey, Chaduko, study. Oh my God. Enjoyed my vacation, a very long vacation, lost interest in academics. And this gentleman standing in front and says, Chaduko, I didn't want to study. So immediately, at that age, young blood, wanted to jack Swami. Swami, I am not interested in studies. I don't want to study. Hey, Chaduko, I am telling for your good. Study. I thought he is not going to leave me. Immediately counterattack. Swami, you want me to study? You give me seat in your college, then I will study. Otherwise, I will not study. I thought he will not give me seat, I can escape. Then immediately Swami said, Oh, you want seat in my college? 
I said, yes, Swami. I thought some ray of hope. Then Swami looked at me and said, do you know my students? They are all rank students. They get gold medal. Can you do that? I said, why not? With your blessings, I can also get gold medal. I can also get good marks. If I give you a plate of food, you have to eat, man. You have to eat. Yes, Swami, I have to eat. But give me the strength so that I can eat. Ah, you are talking too much. Swami raised his hand and said, And then finally I was jacked. He said, Okay, apply. I will give seat. Meow, finished. I'm jacked. So that is how he guided. Then went back and applied for my pre-university course. Unfortunately, in Karnataka state, 10 plus 2 system started. So I have to do two years intermediate. Anyway, everybody says I am two PhD, two PJ, I am two intermediate. One half, of course. And then finally, I applied. Apply, apply, no reply from the college. What's happening? Time is rolling by, days passing by, and my dad called and told me, hey, it's getting too late. If you miss the bus, one more year, again you will not study. And Swami said he will give you a seat. What I should do, Dad? Tell me. He said, see, go to Brindavan campus, find out what is the position. I said, okay. I am there in the campus, enter the office, met a clerk there, and I told, sir, I applied, and I did not get the call letter. What's happening? Where did you apply? When did you apply? To whom you applied? For what course you applied? A list of questions went on. Then I said, I applied all these things. Then it is not here. Where you applied? I said, I applied to Babaji. What? Babaji? Yes. He told me in the interview room, you apply. And I applied. I wrote, Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba, Brindavan campus, put my application and posted it. Then that guy heavily came upon me and said, stupid fellow, Baba and college, there is no connection. Baba is different, college is different. You have to apply to college, not to Baba. I said, I don't know. How can you do this? I am seeing the quotation. Love all, serve all. And this man, profusely loving me, harshly loving me, I said, what is happening here? Then immediately I said, what I should do? He said, tomorrow is the last date. Gun case. Oh my God. One side, yes, I need not study. Another side, when I see my dad's face and when I see Babaji's face, I am getting scared. You must study. So, area of hope. Suddenly one corner, one soft gentleman, love all, serve all, was there. And that man looked at me and said, Babu, come here. I ran desperately. What's your problem? Sir, I told everything and I applied. Swami said, apply. I applied to Bhagavan Baba. Is it my mistake, sir? And that man is shouting. And said, okay, Babu, don't worry. Tomorrow is the last date. I will search in the files by chance your application. Do you know your application number? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Only I know my name. I said, okay, give your name. Tomorrow you come by 10.30. By chance, if your application form is here, things will be all right. Otherwise, all right. Goodbye. I said, okay, fine. I went back. Next day, promptly, 10.45, I'm there in the campus. This gentleman looked at me and said, Babu, come here, come here. I said, what happened? Yesterday you came, no? I went home and I was very bad mood. What, Swami, you told me apply and I applied and writing first day itself, this man shouting at me, what I should do, all that. You know, I was pouring out my agony, my love to my love, Lord. And then finally, next day morning, when I met this gentleman, he says, yesterday you came, you left. Within one hour, Warren brought one envelope and gave in the office. When I opened that envelope, that was your application form. I said, wow, that's great. When I was there, it was not there. They chased me out and told me, come tomorrow. After I left that afternoon, my application form is there. Anything seen by God, anything felt by God, 
anything touched by God, anything blessed by God is unique, is sanctified, is special. So to that day, my application form. Do you know why? Babaji sent my application form. So I became VIP that day. Because Babaji sent application form means this guy must be special. I didn't know this. So this man already went and approached principal and told, Sir, Swami sent this application form. This boy came yesterday and today is the last day, sir. And he has applied, blah, blah, blah. Introduction was already given. And this man told, I have done everything. You just have to go and meet principal. I said, great. You just have to trust him. He will guide you. Every moment he will guide you. Provided if you trust him. You trust him. And you trust him. And leave it to him. He will do the job. That is why Swami says, take one step. And I will take hundred. And here, I am standing in front of principal. Professor Narendra. Very nice, very loving gentleman. And Professor Nanjundaya, Bangalore University Faculty Commerce. And he was there in the interview board. These two were sitting there. He, they went through my application. They said, <coughs> you already studied uh, intermediate. I said, yes, sir. All that blah, blah. And then he said, Babu, Professor Nanjundaya, Babu, science group, uh, MPIPC, I can't give. I said, why, sir? Your marks in chemistry is not that good. Yes, sir. Chemistry is, even today it is mystery for me, sir. Then why you want to take M by PC? I don't know any other group, sir. I know only M by PC or maybe any other than chemistry, if anything is there, you give me, sir. Then he said, why don't you take commerce group? Commerce? What is that commerce group, sir? I heard arts, but commerce is what, sir? HECA. What is HECA? History. Okay, social studies. Economics, okay, part of social studies. Accountancy, what is that? Commerce, what is that, sir? These two things are alien to me. Will they teach from the scratch, from the beginning? Of course, ABC of accountancy will be starting from the 11th class onwards. Sir, I forgot to ask Swami which group I should take. I am in a dilemma. I don't know what to do. No, Mr. Nanjude was telling, no, this is good for you. You will shine. Take my word. You take this group. The moment he said, I still very vividly remember, just above his head, there was a big clock, exactly 12 o'clock, and it was chiming, clang, clang, clang. I said, okay, guidance. Done. I am into commerce group now. I said, yes, sir, I am ready. Yes, I am into HCA now. The date, everything is confirmed. And they told me, come and join. And they gave me second language, Sanskrit. Sanskrit is bouncers. I don't know Hindi because I was in Tamil Nadu. Hindi was not allowed those days. And Sanskrit is further alien. So I went and they told Sanskrit is very easy. You can score 100 out of 100. So I went and sat in the Sanskrit class. Everybody was yelling and shouting something. All bouncers for me. I said, this is not the day. I am going to go back home. I will flop. That time chemistry was a mystery. Now Sanskrit is again another mystery. I don't know. I am missing something in my life. And then I went and told Professor Narendra, our principal, sir, this is the problem. Like me, three more brothers joined me. So I'm not alone. I have company. So these guys, they didn't know what to do, just like me. And Professor went and told Swami, Swami, these three boys have this problem. And they are from Tamil Nadu. And their second language is Tamil. And we don't have Tamil. I don't know what to do. Swami said, I will take care. This beautiful, sweet Lord went for a darshan and he just picked up one bald man sitting in the crowd, told him, go for an interview. That man, desperately, full of joy and enthusiasm, he ran. And there, when he was standing, Swami told, will you teach Tamil for my students? Are you Bhagyam, Swami? Bhagyam, Bhagyam, he said. That man is a Tamil professor, St. Joseph's of College, Bangalore, Swami's devotee. That day, Darshan, he was sitting. 
you see the lord can come down to that level fishing this guy out from the crowd just for this in silly souls three guys three students he did that match fixing and then finally he told professor everything is done this man will come introduce the boys to this so we used to have once a week class this man became vip he never sits in the crowd because he's teaching faculty tamil he walks in straight to tri brindavan and sits like a vip wow he is happy we are happy i finished my intermediate with tamil second language guidance you just trust him and that is how things happen this sounds very silly this sounds very stupid but when you sit back and think how all this can happen it is because of his divine will his power his love he can come down to any level to uplift us that is why he is divine that is why he is our sweet beautiful lord and here you are i am going to start university in puttaparthi how many of you are going to join promptly i used to lift my hand standing in the front line and swami fished out 18 boys i was one of the guy we were the first batch joined brindavan did bcom then we didn't know what to do because we are the first batch next what swami said i will start mcom do i said okay fine first batch mcom i finished mcom next we do know what to do swami said phd yes five of us applied for phd and that is the time in the higher secondary school junior college they wanted somebody to teach for management at the 12th class and bo for the 11th class they recommended my name and finally swami asked are you willing to go and teach upanyasam istavara swami asked swami meer edi cheppina nen adi chestanu i have nothing on my own the simple reason and the most important reason when i joined bcom in prashanti nilayam one day swami sent word through warden tell him from today onwards i will take care of him and his life he is not supposed to ask even one paisa from his father everything i will take care tell him he is my son and tell him to follow and call him separately and tell him this and warden call me and told me and this beautiful lord he took looked after me in all aspects in every aspect even for my hair cut every month he used to send money through warden he used to give me clothes including stretching charges like that he brought me up even many of my classmates do not know that those days that is how this lord guided me all through my life and today i am standing in front of you what more proof that you need what more thing that i need to explain to understand this swami you cannot understand swami you have to experience so that is how he guided me and if not that day in the interview if i would have escaped i don't think you will be standing and sitting and i'll be standing here he guided my life please dear brothers and sisters trust him it is our great good fortune knowingly or unknowingly when he came we came and when we came we realized and he accepted us and when he accepted us we have to surrender to him and he will take care i will go to the another very touching and moving experience in my life how swami guided <coughs> 8990 kodaikanal when i went swami started pendijesco get married and as a student all of you know guys pendli means it is out of syllabus for students pendli means swami will get a little upset but in front of parents ha pendli chesko manchidi parents will feel happy you will feel happy chesko chesko in front of parents he will play band bajao because to make parents happy after parents go stupid dog you want to get married chi shameless like that he will shout so 
ఇది నిజమా అది నిజమా ఈజ్ దిస్ ట్రూ ఆర్ ఈజ్ దట్ ట్రూ సో దిస్ మాయా నాటక సూత్రధారి కన్ఫ్యూసెస్ యూ వెదర్ దట్ డే ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ పేరెంట్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ స్పీక్స్ ఈస్ ట్రూ అండ్ నౌ ఈస్ షౌటింగ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ట్రూ విచ్ ఈస్ ట్రూ ద ట్రూ ఈస్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ త్రూ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఓన్లీ ట్రూ సో నౌ ద బెస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఈస్ మై ఛాన్స్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ i knew the game i have seen many games of this type now i am part of that game so i decided to play my game calm and quiet simply nod your head let's see what happens why unnecessarily getting agitated having hope and then finally rubbing everybody on the wrong shoulder including swami and you get hurt in the in the process missing uh, smile and smile and keep quiet one day swami called my parents he fixed the wedding he fix the date april 15th 9 10 30 muhurtam very good muhurtam that is the muhurtam where rama got married oh ho oh, oh, ho all that he told my father is very happy as if he is going to get married okay ah oh, what like that he is full you know when swami speaks like that so they are all ready what about me i am side tracked because if he tells me i will say no so best thing is round about route convincing my parents fixed everything and he went to my would be she also didn't want to get married and swami said see you are coming all the way doing service i want you to stay with me and not coming and going will you marry i will give my student she fell for the game wow that's nice and she said okay and that is how that side is fixed and this side is fixed and it is a quick fix finished okay now anyway to cut down the story you now we finished all this june 1st march 31st our academic year come what may 31st we close the gate of the campus june 1st we open the case you know you know it so all these years i was in hostel i have a room i'm the wing teacher taking care of children and also doing a lot of service and bells beckons me for all sessions for food ting 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 breakfast ready ting 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 lunch ready ting 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 the hostel life is between first bell and second bell first bell get ready second bell start eating first bell stand in line second bell start the line so the hostel life was like that now damn it i am not alone somebody is next to me and she is not allowed inside the hostel now where will i go what will i do it's all question mark and i know in prashanti nilayam if you want accommodation as it is trouble for devotees only trouble and for me after marriage young couples cannot stay inside ashram married couple cannot stay inside ashram by chance if you are staying they will give you a room and the room will be without kitchen and finally the room some donor or owner room and if the donor or owner comes you have to run away from the room go to the shed oh my god i saw all the sequence check 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 like tv serial oh no 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 the best thing is to hit the nail straight what is that if baba ji says everything is straight forward nothing can touch you nothing will happen to you but baba ji has to say no so i stayed back all boys june 1st went to college and i was standing in thrivrindavan swami from his bedroom he saw me standing he called warden vaadu enduku poledu college open ayipindi kada enduku akkade unnadu college is opened and this guy is still there why is he not gone for classes he came running hey swami shouting at me you go come and vacate from this place i said how will i vacate sir i have to vacate hostel where will i vacate now i have to vacate hostel and i need to get some ticket to stay so do something what will i do i tell swami that i want accommodation you go and tell swami whatever swami says i will do he ran again then after 10 minutes he come running swami told all devotees are going to prashanti nilayam where do they go for accommodation accommodation office tell him to go to accommodation office and ask for accommodation they will give ha uh, it is not that easy for one day two day devotees will give no it is not one day two day sir it is a lifetime sir think please think about my plight so he didn't know what to do he also understood he quietly walked off next day morning darshan after my wedding 
one year i am only there he never talked to me out of syllabus out of form that is our terminology out of form that means what i am omnipresent for baba he will you will even if you stand and try everything he will not look at you you look through you but not at you it is like that so one year i was going through that time and that time only all my problems need to be sorted out oh my god so finally next day morning i decided to come what me he is going to shout better he shouts than my problem will be solved next day morning he finished darshan and suddenly commotion people are running up and down i ran and asked what man what's happening swami is going to prashanti nilayam what yeah swami is going to prashanti nilayam yes swami is going to prashanti nilayam immediately i told my wife swami is going to prashanti nilayam come on we will also go so we also took car and followed swami went to prashanti nilayam and met secretary secretary knows me very well so he gave me accommodation he said congratulations happy married life yes sir happy married life first you give me one room for my wife and me and then we will see then only our life we don't know what will happen hey i can't do anything you ask swami sir staff quarters i already did the spared work in staff quarters near samadhi road three portions are empty you tell swami and get me one portion sir i will go and stay there inside ashram i can't lift my luggage every function sir please do something he said i can't ask baba i can't ask if you want you write a letter and then if swami picks up the talk then i will sandwich the whole thing he said okay fine so morning bhajan is over i wrote a letter kaildas he was doing the duty there i gave a letter the letter was passed inside 3 o'clock secretary calls me to his office i rush to his office and then he says sai swami has blessed you man swami has given accommodation i said thank you very much sir staff quarters no where mandir oh my god don't worry don't worry i will give you a room i myself told swami after his lunch he told the whole thing after his lunch he read your letter and he told sai suresh pendli cheskuni vachadu vaadiki accommodation kavalanta oka accommodation ee then i told swami staff quarters three portions are empty can i send swami said no 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 they are young people they should not be outside they should be inside ashram only you put them inside only and he will ask you ground floor room don't give ground floor room give them top floor room young people they should go up and down <clears throat> after finishing everything he said give with the kitchen everything give with the kitchen give every instructions was given in the end the highlight icing on the cake you tell him as if you are giving not me <laughs> i am not giving you are giving don't use my name he said yes swami and this gentleman told everything to me <laughs> because his son is my student <laughs> not that i will fail him but this man had a very soft corner for me and they all know that i run around swami and do all that work they also he only said the amount of love i saw when swami was talking about you i want you to know how much he loves you but yet he doesn't want to show you for that only i am telling man please don't write letter stating whatever i told you that is supposed to be between me and baba otherwise i have to vacate my room and give my room to you he said <clears throat> i said okay fine and that is how this sweet lord gave me two choice west one c1 or west 9 d16 first room here first block last room there last block and he himself preferred you better be in west 9 that is new block and better and that is how i lived there for 20 years now the most important thing very important thing after some days swami casually when you talking he told me నేను ఉన్నంత వరకు నువ్వు నాతో ఉండు తర్వాత నీకు ఏం చేయాలో నేను చేస్తాను యు స్టే విత్ మీ యాజ్ లాంగ్ యాజ్ ఐ ఎమ్ స్టేయింగ్ హియర్ ఐ విల్ డూ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ సపోజ్ టు డూ వెన్ ద టైమ్ కమ్స్ ఐ డిన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ హెయిర్ ద టేల్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఓన్లీ వన్ థింగ్ ఐ అండర్స్టూడ్ ఈస్ హీ వాంట్స్ మీ ఇన్ సైడ్ 
That is very clear. 2010, I bought a new car. We had a Maruti. My son was complaining every time, Maruti, Maruti, Maruti. I said, that is useful for Swami Seva, man. No, Appa, I want AC car. I said, okay, fine, children growing. We need to compromise something. Then Tata Indigo ECS new model came. Then finally, they decided to buy that car. Puttaparthi, <coughs> Sagastra Sirisa Purusha, Sagastra, Sagastra Pad. There, every eye will tell Swami. Every hand will write letter to Swami about others. So therefore, when I bought my car, and if I drive, before I tell Swami, somebody will tell Swami, and Swami will think, stupid fellow, he always sits right under my nose, and he never told me that he bought a car, and someone else comes and tells me, so I bought a new car. Then what will happen to me? Me and my car have to go to mechanic shop. So therefore, I took the car, four days I did not use it. Waited for a good day, wrote a letter, Satyajit brother came, I told him, Satya, I sold my Maruti, bought a Tata car, this is what is there in this. Tell Swami, I want his blessings. If Swami gives Vibhuti packet, give it to me, I will take it. That's all. Just inform. He said, okay sir, I will come. He went inside, after five minutes he comes. Pradhan, come here. Hey, Padmanabhan, Swami's driver, come here. And then, sir, come, sir, he said. I said, what, what, what's the commotion? Sir, Swami said, today evening, you must bring your car here. Swami wants to bless your car. Swami said, you must bring your wife and also your son from the school. All Swami will bless at a time here. Then he told Pradhan, in this place, when Swami, entrance is there, that Yajur Mandir, park the car here. And he told Padmam everything. I said, I just prayed for blessing and this is pouring, drenching, drowning me with his love. I ran and told my wife, Swami is called evening, all of us including our son and car blessing. Wow, it's a great day. So we went there. I forgot to bring my picture there. And there Swami comes, Swami blesses and that is the time Swami asked all the details like a salesman, how many mileage, how much is the cost, exchange offer, everything. And after everything is over in the process, suddenly from my mind, I told, Swami, very soon I am going to retire. I have not bought any property. If Swami blesses me, can I buy an apartment outside? Swami said, where? I explained everything. And then Swami looked up and said, Yes, yes, yes. The building was under construction. And he said, yes, yes. Big, big glass windows. No windows that time. Big, big glass windows. As soon as you enter, there is a dining hall. Double bedroom. Manchidi, manchidi. Chala santosham. Tisco. How much? I said, sir, Swami, 2,100 per, per uh, square feet. Anta dabba. I said, Swami, Puttaparthi has changed outside. Oh my God, for Swami also it was a surprise. Anta dabba, anta costlya, like that. Finally, Swami blessed. We gave the advance. Swami used to ask me, what's happening? And one day Swami said, you must move in. Do all the work, including carpentry work, and then move into that house. Then my son was studying 12th standard and he said, Appa, April month will be vacation time. I can also run around and do. Puja will be very nice. Can we do it in the month of April? I said, okay, fine. We can do it. Again, Swami asked, what is happening? Swami, work is going on. And then Swami said, February 20th, move in. I said, Swami, April. Swami Chepinataga Chai. Do as Swami says. Na Agnya. My command. I had nothing. So I told my son, this is what Swami said, man. We have no choice. I ran to a local pujari and he said, that is the last muhurtam available, February 20th. And Swami fixed that date. And he said, sir, I'm already busy because that day wedding is there. I asked him, what time is the wedding, man? Eight o'clock. 
you come at 3 o'clock man no problem early morning brahma muhurtam you just break coconut and do what whatever you want you finish the housewarming ceremony and then go for a wedding because swami wanted he said yes sir because swami said we have to do it and then morning 4:30 all the prayer everything is over dear brothers and sisters february 20th i moved march 20th swami went to hospital april 20th swami left this physical body 18 years back he said so far as i am staying stay with me when time comes i will tell you i will settle you i didn't understand 18 years back you see the clarity in his mind you see the vision in his mind he is divine my dear brothers and sisters please it is a great good fortune that we are his devotees we don't know what good deeds we have done or our elders have done but he has accepted us and we are one family sai family live together love each other help each other he has done so much for all of us he has touched every life in this place in a different way directly or indirectly but remember he is with you the distance between god and you is the same distance between you and god if you feel that he is far he reflects farness if you feel that he is close and he is in you he is you and you are him that is how baba ji has guided me in this life i will never forget his guidance and i followed that and that is how i moved out and he gave me and he settled me with a double bedroom apartment baba ji my guru yes how baba ji as guru that he has done to all of us i would like to narrate a beautiful incident yeah <clears throat> guru the one who dispels darkness he removes ignorance he shows the path the right path and he inculcates in us the sense of discrimination what is right and what is wrong we have so many varieties of guru there are some gurus in cities where they are quiet and you go and approach them they will bless you and leave you there are some gurus they will capitalize on this and the next moment they will commercialize the whole thing and they will launch like bali chakravarti one leg in india another leg in another country all through the world but there are some gurus leave the society run to the forest shun the society and run to the forest and say koham koham who am i who am i and after some years of penance and all the kasrat then he decides soham soham i am that i am that the moment he knows that he is god he settles down happily he doesn't come back we have a beautiful guru who lives in society lived in society and he says be part of society but it don't be attached with the society sits on the boat neti neti not this not this and whoever is interested he says come on get into my boat and i will lead you to the right destination and that is how this guru keep showing god but for us guru himself god and god himself came as guru and he is our bhagwan sri satya sai baba our jagat guru and our sat guru what is that he taught he lived so long what all that things that we learn a beautiful incident sunday morning 
thousands of children gathered in Kulvant Hall. Thousands of eyes eagerly looking at the gate towards Ejur Mandir. And there this sweet Lord, as soon as people see the soft music starts, those days no Vedam, soft music, and he glides. He glides softly, tenderly, lovingly, looking at each one, accepting the letter, taking a handkerchief, wiping and throwing, giving namaskar, consoling, encouraging, motivating, oh, what not. He touches millions, those who are there, at their own level. And he came to the portico. We have primary school children, tiny tots sitting there. Swami summons a little one. They run. Anybody, when Swami calls, they run like a mad dog because he is candy, sugar candy. We just rush, wait for an opportunity and then we rush. This little one ran there. Swami asked, what is your name? He said his name. Where are you from? Delhi, Swami. What was the breakfast? Swami Idli, Vada and Kesari Bath. Because they know that is the day Swami will ask children, do the best and win a feather from Swami's hand, a cap on a feather. And this little one, how many idlis you had? Swami, one, one, bus. Yes, Swami, are you happy? Happy. How many brothers you have? He said, Swami, I have two brothers. Where are they? Delhi, Swami. What they are doing? They are studying, Swami. Oh. You have two brothers. They are in Delhi and they are studying. Yes, Swami. Who are all these boys who are living with you? That boy looked here and there. He didn't know what to say. Swami says, These are your brothers. These are the boys staying with you. Playing with you, eating with you, studying with you, living with you, all through the year. But your real brothers are not with you. They are far away. So who are your real brothers? Bulb glows. Swami, all are my brothers. Good boy, good boy. Swami, can I take namaskar? Yes. And he knocks off one namaskar and he rushes back happily. And that was a lesson Guru taught. Living with God is education. So all the students learn, live like brothers. All are one. Be alike to everyone. All are brothers. Next Sunday morning, the sweet Lord comes. The performance repeat. And Swami stands near the grill and hunting for this same little brat. And this guy was fished out and Swami calls him and again he runs. Again Swami asked him, what is the breakfast? And he said, what all he had. And then Swami comes back with his teaching lesson plan. <clears throat> How many wives you have? This guy, last Sunday, I told two brothers. And Swami said, all are brothers. Swami, all are my wives, Swami. <clears throat> Just like how you enjoyed this joke, we all laughed there. And Swami looked at us and said, That is the innocence I want from all of you. That is the innocence I want from all of you. Do you know this boy? His heart is clean. His mind is clear. There is no ill feeling. There is no good and bad. Innocent. That is why child is equal to God. You people should be like that. I love that kind of heart. Your body is my temple. Your heart is a place where I reside. But you people dump all junk and say, please adjust Swami. How can I adjust? I can't adjust with this stinking smell inside. Be like him. That boy is too high five. He didn't understand what, whatever Swami said. 
But that day, lesson plan is for us. Not for that boy, it is for us. Then again he knocks off one namaskar. He nailed all of us, this little brat, and he rushed away. Third Sunday, performance repeat. It's amazing. Swami is amazing person. I don't know. We may forget. You know, Swami never forgets. Again next Sunday, very eagerly looking at this guy. And the primary school teachers, they all know Swami always talks to his boy. So he's a limelight. So he'll be projected in front. And this guy readily looking. And Swami, hey, come, come. And this guy comes running to Swami. And then Swami asks again, what is a breakfast? And then Swami asks, who is your friend? First Sunday, all our brothers. Second Sunday, all our wife, my wife, Sami didn't say all our my wife. Okay. Then he said, okay, I will tell that only. Swami, all are my friends. Swami said, no, no. Wrong answer. Yes, Swami. All are my brothers and all are my friends. Full conviction. Swami said, no. Only God is your true friend. All others are not your friend. After the education is over, they will all run away from you. You will be alone. They will never be part of your life. They will never live with you. They will all go. But God was there before, is here and will be there all the time. Friends are like frogs. Wherever water is there, frogs will come. When water gets evaporated and water is not there, when the lake becomes dry, frogs also will go away. So friends also, wherever power, wherever money, wherever status, wherever all these things are there, everybody will say, hello, 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 how are you, how are you? Tomorrow no power, tomorrow no money, tomorrow no status, even goodbye. Nobody will say goodbye, they'll all run away from you. But God will be with you all the time. Don't walk in front of me. I will not follow. Don't walk behind me. I will not lead. Just be beside me as my friend. That is the punchline. So all of us have to accept Swamiji as our friend. And this is where Swami taught lesson for all of us that day. One day when we are sitting in the interview room, quite often we used to get interviews. And in the interview room, Swami one day asked... <coughs> One devotee was there. Swami, your boys are very lucky, Swami. Very lucky. I said, why? They're always close to you, Swami. And they love you so much, Swami. Ah, that's hai. But uh, they are not very stable. Monkey mind, monkey mind. No, Swami. For Swami, anything. Yes, yes. My boys, for Swami, anything they will do. But the mind should be stable. So immediately one guy got up. And he wants to, you know, show off and he said, Swami, how to control mind, Swami? He said. Swami said, oh, you want to control mind? Are you in the control of mind or mind is controlling you? Patanai, Swami, sometimes mind is controlling me and I am also controlling my mind. What is the best way to do it? And then Swami, very beautifully that day he said, mind is what? Mind is bundle of thoughts. He picked up his handkerchief. And he said, what is this handkerchief? And he pulled. When I am doing this, we are able to snap this? He said, no. It is so strong. But this handkerchief is made of what? Threads. Thread is made of what? Cotton. Cotton you can blow. Thread you can blow. But why is that? This we can't even hold it tight and tear it. Because it is bundle of thread. Swami said, just, this, just like this cloth is your mind. Your mind is bundle of thoughts. You want to calm your mind, remove one by one, one by one, all the thoughts you remove. When you remove the thoughts, mind is clean, mind is clear. But we dump with so much of thoughts, that is why we are not able to understand and appreciate. So therefore, 
Swami said there should be a very good balance between mind and heart. If you train your mind, Swami says, if you think positively, sound can become music, movements can become dance, smile can become laughter, mind can become meditation, and your life will be a celebration. Everything is a reflection of our mind. And then Swami said, Swami, all are your devotees. Swami said, Anduru na bhaktulu kadu. Swami, that day, beautiful, beautiful analysis. All are not my devotees, Swami said. You may say, you are my devotee. But the correct version is, I must feel that you are my devotee. And not, you should not say, you are my devotee. Then what is the difference, Swami, we asked. Then Swami said, Bhakti, Bhaktudu, Anetapudu, Bhakti, Viswasam, Idhu rendu undali. Devotion and faithfulness. Faith, these two things should be there. Only devotion, devoid of faith, you are not a devotee. And only faith is of no use. You should have bhakti also. And then Swami said, one day, Narada approached Mahavishnu. And he said, Swami, Narayana, Narayana, when he went, Mahavishnu says, how are you, Narada? Oh, fine, Swami. All the time contemplating on your name. Oh, just contemplating on my name. Do you feel you are elated and you are my devotee? Of course. Yes, Swamiji. All the time I say, Narayana, Narayana. And there is no one else better than me. And then Swami says, no. You go down, check for yourself. And this man comes down. And he finds a sage sitting under a banyan tree. For many years doing penance for realization. Narada approached him and says, Narayana, Narayana. Then the sage opens his eyes and says, Oh, what a blessing, what a blessing, Narada, you have come. How are you, great soul? How is your sadhana going? Oh, great, Narada, great. Doing well, everything is fine. In fact, in another six months, I am going to realize myself and I am praying so hard and Mahavishnu will come and he will bless me profusely and the soul will get released and I will get realization. Are you sure? Of course, I am doing sadhana. I am, this is going to happen. Oh, but I have a problem. Narada, what is your problem? Oh, not for me. For Mahavishnu problem. What? Mahavishnu problem. Yes. Yes, Maharishi. Mahavishnu is having a problem. What is the problem? You see, in left hand, he is having a needle. And in the right hand, he is having an elephant. And he is trying to push this elephant into the eye of the needle. And he is desperate. One week he is struggling. He is becoming very violent. Why this is not going? Why this is not going? He's trying to fix this elephant into the eye of this needle. Maharish, he laughed. Don't joke, Narada. Don't joke. How can that happen? I am not joking. This is what I saw things happening up. I thought I will share with you. This is the plight of Mahavishnu there. And on top of it, you say he is going to give you liberation. I have my own doubts. Narada, Mahavishnu created needle. Mahavishnu created elephant. Don't tell me, Mahavishnu, do not know that the elephant cannot go into that hole. Don't tell me that. This is what I am trying to hint at him, but he is not listening to me. I don't know what to do. And then he walks. Still mine. Just put a small pebble, the ripple starts. And this Maha Rishi, oh my God, did I waste all these months of sadhana? If Mahavishnu can't even think that elephant cannot get into that hole, do you think he will come and give me liberation? So, Chanchalam, such a great sage, imbalance in his mind 
and Narada goes to the field. He finds innocent farmer. Hey, farmer, how are you? Oh, great, Narada, great. I'm so blessed. I'm having your darshan. How is your family and the job? Oh, Mahavishnu is taking care. Everything is fine. We are every day struggling. We are meeting our ends. But we are contented. We are very happy. Yeah, you are very happy, but Mahavishnu is not happy. What are you saying, Mahavishnu, not happy? Oh, he's having needle, he's having elephant, the same procedure, everything he told. Then again, the farmer laughed loudly and said, Narada, please don't joke. I said, I'm not joking, yeah, this is what is happening there. Narada, if you don't mind, can you come with me to my garden? He said, why not? Come on, let's go for a walk. And he goes to the garden and he shows, Narada, do you see a jackfruit tree? Yes. How many branches are there? Many. How many twigs are there? Many. How many leaves are there? Too many. And how many jackfruits are there? Oh, quite a lot. Each one is bulky and heavy. Is it not? Yes. He bent down and picked up jackfruit seed. And he said, This tree, this trunk, this branch, this twig, these leaves, these many jackfruits, everything came from where? Obviously, from this seed. When God can compress his entire creation into this seed, don't tell me Mahavishnu cannot accomplish pushing this elephant into that hole. Then Narada said, that is it. That is it. That is why... God never sees your positions. God sees your performance. This is where faith and love, and that is where Swami said, those who believe me, those who trust me, and with your bhakti, if you have viswasam, then you are my devotee. Once when I accept you, even if you say no, I will not forsake you. I will not leave you. Even if you desert me and leave me, I will chase you and I will bring back to my fold. That is the assurance God has given. And that is where he lived for 85 years that way. And motivated, illuminated and handled many people in many ways and changed the lifestyle of people. And that is our Lord. So it is up to us whether we claim that we are devotee or God should claim you are my devotee. So that is the punchline here as Guru we have learned from Swami. My Babaji. My Babaji as God. As God, he loved me. He protected me. He looked after me and my family. As he was doing for you, all of you. And here I would like to narrate two beautiful incidents where God can do anything. For God, nothing matters. If he decides that he wants to do Hindi, he will do it. And here you find God is love and love is God. So in this, always you find, Swami says, you are God. You are God. Advaita philosophy. Every discourse, if you seriously observe, starting he says, Divyatma Swarupullara. Prematma Swarupullara. You are the embodiment of divine love. You are the embodiment of divine being. He identifies himself in all of us. That is why he is divine. And we are not get the feel like that. We are not getting it. That is why Swami says, I separated from myself, from myself to love myself. He knows that. He knows that you are, we are part of Him. Only thing we do not know that we are part of Him, but He knows that we are all part of Him. And this is where Swami, very beautiful instance, Swami's love. In 50s and 60s and 70s also, you will find Swami moving out of Prashantinilam after every mega function. Let it be Guru Purnima, Dasara, uh, Swami's birthday, <coughs> you know, like that, Shivaratri. The very next day, 
Swami will take his car and vanish from Prashanti Nilayam. Do you know the simple reason? Accommodation problem. All of us, when we go those days, 60s and 70s, there is no western, the east and all that was not there. Only we used to stay under the trees. Just spread the mat and, you know, open to sky. That's how children, all of us, we used to share and go to Chitravati for the bath. That is how we lived those days. Beautiful days, of course. And Swami used to vacate the Prashanti Nilam so that all the devotees will go. Otherwise, canteen people will come and pray, Swami, Miru Pondi Swami, you go, Swami. Why? We can't cook for so many people, Swami. Very difficult. So, Swami understands the devotee's plight, the organizer's plight, and he used to vacate and go. And quite often, Swami used to make a trip all over India. He is the only God. Never left India, except once because of the love of one devotee. He went to East Africa. But otherwise, he never stepped out of India. People say, Swami is here, Swami is there. Swami is everywhere. He need not go. He need not go. He only has to, we only have to realize that he is also there. That's all. But this beautiful Lord attracted entire world to Prashanti Nilayam. He never went. He called everybody. That is why he is divine. Puttaparthi is such a silly, small, insignificant, unidentified village. He has brought to the limelight in the road map, spiritual map, railway map, air map, medical map, educational map. He has brought revolution. Staying in village. Is he not divine? We are also there, sir. We cannot influence our own family people. But he could influence the entire world. What is the difference? Their love. Here we want to be loved. There he shared love. But here only care for our love. We never shared love. That is the difference between Almighty God and we. God is love. Live in love. In Chennai, when we are staying, we stayed in Triplicane. Swami quite often used to come to Chennai <clears throat> and used to stay in Venkatamuni Bangla and Mr. Ishwar's house in Alvarpet. We used to have, my dad had one Lambretta scooter. My mom, my dad, and myself, I will be sandwiched between my father and mother in the middle and my sister, small little one, standing in front. Those days, Lamrata scooter. And from Triplicane, we used to come to Alvar Pet. And Swami used to stay for a week or fortnight. And every day evening, Swami gives darshan. Outside their house, there is a good amount of place. And a lot of crowd will come. Swami used to collect letters and bhajan will go on. There also in Ishwar's house, Swami used to give interviews to some family. His routine never changes. Everywhere it is like that. In our house, a small garden, we had jasmine called Saint Jaji, jasmine flower. My mother, usually, we all used to pluck the flower at 4 o'clock and my mother ties a small, that much only will come, small garland-like thing. And those days, no plastic paper, only newspaper, plastic and all revolution now, those days only newspaper. So roll it in newspaper and in a wet cloth and then go there. Wherever we are, Swami loved this flower and that smell. And wherever my mom or my dad is there, Swami will come, pick up that flower and then go to his room. And this Ishwar, he used to tell us, I don't know why Swami takes your flower to the bedroom and next day morning you will find Swami has plucked and you know, he smelt every flower one by one. He loves that flower from where you are getting. He said, we are not getting, sir. We are growing. It is in our house garden. And my mother makes like this and we used to hear, oh, very nice, very nice. So this was the ritual going on. And we feel very happy that, you know, we are giving and Swami is accepting. It's the greatest blessings. What more we need at that time? And Swami sometimes goes to guest house. People will call for dinner. And when Swami goes, he comes back by 9, 9.30 or so. We will not go. We will stay back. And before going, mm, some will do like this. And pick up this parcel and go inside without forgetting. One day, 
our lambretta did some small galata <laughs> it did not start so finally we took a bus landed in albert pit as usual we were there swami came darshan over everything is over and swami had to go to somebody's house that day for dinner so as usual we will wait and we are waiting swami came at 11:15 all left except my father my mother myself and you know, outside because the gate will be closed no on the road only we will stand in that cold night swami came pushed the down buddhi ledu ikkade unnaru enduku intiki poledu why didn't you go home why are you here swami flower swami what is there if you don't give small children how will you go how you came swami by bus swami how will you go Swami, we'll go. No problem, Swami. No bus now. Eleven o'clock, eleven fifteen, eleven thirty. What bus will come, Swami? One hour we can walk down, Swami. No problem. Ayyo, in the chikati lo, in this dark, how will you go, Swami? You are there, Swami. We will do Nagar Sankirtan and go, Swami. No problem. Like that, my father. Swami was upset. He took the flower. He said, "Bad, chipping the chayuru. Never do whatever I say." Took the flower. went inside anyway our work is over we want to give flowers we have given so we started off so when we came to the circle my sister was small so my father and mother both were taking and i am i am able to manage you know little bit and we are running around suddenly we crossed two roads one car comes Morris Minor those days in Chennai you will find Herald Morris Minor Ambassador Dodge Fiat these are the very popular car cars those days this Morris Minor comes an old old man is there big noise small car and he comes and stands next to us and the old man from inside long beard and all that where are you going you missed the bus or what I said yes, sir. We missed the bus. My father said yes, we missed the bus. Where are you going? Now we are going to Triplicane. Oh, Ice House. I am also going to Pry Cross Road. Come, I will drop you. And we saw the car. Do you know what is the condition of the car? No doors. Old car from mechanic shop. No door. And that fellow says sit. My mother is looking at my father. My father is looking at my mother. Kya karna abhi? enter enter the dragon so now finally we decided okay fine he said chalo chalo get in get in so single door so myself my sister my mother behind my father sat without door there carefully holding on to the seat reached 15 minutes oh. we got down we turned back the car went to end of the road and then vanished we thought okay that man zoomed off next day we didn't want to get scolding from swami by chance if it is late my father religiously took the lambretta and made it all right and the next day we are going in scooter with the same flowers and swami finished everything how did you go yesterday swami one car came and we managed stupid for your sake i have to go to a mechanic shop and pick up one old car and drop you If you do like this, I will not take this flower henceforth. And he walked out. Just walked out. All we were shocked. He did not stand. He just gave the statement and went. Stupid fellow, because of you, the trust. You are there, no? That's what we told. Because of you, I have to go to a mechanic shop, pick up a car which came for door repair, and dropped me. dropped us see that is the love of god if he decides to do nothing stops him but he has to take the call and we have to call him fervently we are last one i hope i'm not taking much time <sighs> this is a very interesting episode this is that is a flower jasmine flower and this is the car but this is in good condition 
but uh, I just want to show you this, this is the car with one door and uh, without door, of course. So this is the car Swami dropped us uh, safely in our... Okay. <clears throat> Bhajan Hall is a beautiful place. All the boys may be knowing and devotees, those who have attended bhajans in the Bhajan Hall those days. It's a beautiful Bhajan Hall. That Bhajan Hall is part of many devotees and many students, part of memory lane. So many things have happened there. And here, every time when any drama or any music program, all will assemble in the Bhajan Hall. And Swami will come. Each and every thing he will look into, he do the corrections, and he will tell what is right and what is wrong. All that, you know, personal involvement. That is his love. One day, in the morning, Swami called one singer. She had come for Swami's darshan. And Swami told that singer, today evening, give program. She said, yes, Swami, but uh, no accompaniments. She said, our boys hai. Don't worry. Kya chahiye? Harmonium, tabla, nala. Ah, okay, fine, done. So immediately, that day evening, boys were fixed. One boy on nal, one boy on tabla, one boy on harmonium, all that. And this <coughs> lady was sitting in the bhajan hall. That's a procedure. And Swami will come, take a beautiful darshan line. In the end, he will enter the bhajan hall like this. And then when he goes to the party and asks everything is fine, and then he will go back. Once when you go to the stage, then it is my duty to take the party and make them comfortable on the stage, and the program goes. So religiously, it goes on like that. That day, all these boys are ready, and the singer also was sitting. Swami finished Darshan and entering the Bhajan Hall. When he was entering Bhajan Hall, so much of love, you know, and uh, in Swami's face, that happiness that there's going to be a program and this girl, lady is going to sing, you know, so much of enthusiasm. He's like a child sometimes, you know. Uh, sometimes we feel we are more mature than Baba. Like that, uh, like that he behaves. Definitely behaves like that. So, you are like that. Oh. <sighs> Uchara, Swami said, have they come? I said, yes, Swami, they are there. They are inside. I said, Swami, yeah, there's, yeah, all boys are there. Yes, Swami, everybody is there. So after everything is over, with that full, blooming, joyful, energetic face, Swami entered that door, saw the singer. Immediately, that beautiful flower faded away. His face became small. Smile vanished. Something disturbed him. So we didn't know what is wrong. Why when Swami asked me outside the door secretly, I said everything fine. The moment he entered and saw this party, music party, Swami is totally upset. So I thought something is wrong. We don't know what it is. Anyway, I mentally prepared. To receive. We are always at the receiving end. Okay. Sometimes blessings unasked, it will come. So you just have to be ready to take it and collect it. So I mentally be prepared. And Swami did like this and the chair straight went to that uh, singer. Kabhi aya, kaisa hai, kaya, all that he spoke to that lady very nicely. And that lady is happy, Swami is happy. Chair turned. He did like that. So immediately the chair was coming towards me. My God, something is going to happen. And Swami came closer to me and said, Hey, that lady, she is wearing a black sari. Tell her to change that sari. Black sari, not good. <laughs> Chappu. Swami, I will give you ten minutes time. I will go inside the interview room, tell that lady to change black sari and then come. After 10 minutes, you can bring her outside, we will start the program. Me, Swami, my heart is here. Imagine, highlight, nu chappu. You understand? Nu chappu. That means what? You tell, don't use my name. Huh? 
లవ్ మై అన్సర్టనిటీ ఐ డి నో వాట్ టు డూ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు టెల్ దిస్ లేడీ ఫస్ట్ ఐ థాట్ స్వామి వాంట్స్ యూ టు చేంజ్ ద శారీ ఇట్ విల్ బి ఈజీ ఫర్ మీ టు టెల్ అండ్ షీ విల్ ఆల్సో అండర్స్టాండ్ బికాస్ స్వామి వాంట్స్ స్వామి సెట్ నువ్వు చెప్పు దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ డోంట్ యూస్ మై నేమ్ డామ్ ఇట్ యూ టెల్ హౌ విల్ ఐ గో అండ్ టెల్ దట్ లేడీ లేడీ బ్లాక్ శారీ ఈస్ నాట్ గుడ్ the lady will say damn it i am not wearing for you man i am wearing for baba who are you to come and tell me which sari i should wear get out of this place so bhajan hall will become samadhi for me how to go and tell lady if it men means at least i can tell lady how can i go oh my god i didn't know what to do i and swami went in center room dab inter room closed i sat like this all the boys those who are close to me heard sai sir what are you going to do i don't know ya yeah. 5 minutes over sai sir 5 minutes over 5 minutes is there what me what do you want me to tell ya yeah? you want me to go and tell that lady change the sari will you go and tell man no sir you tell swami din like you heard the last line what don't use my name oh like that ah huh? okay sir okay sir boys are more tense than me so i didn't know what to do but actually the 10 minutes what god gave me was a peaceful time do you know why 10 minutes is there no 10 minutes is there nothing's going to happen to me so that was very peaceful for me after 10 minutes every second was tension for me so i've decided okay uh my days have uh, uh, my prapti is over uh, i w- i'm not going to tell this lady and swami will come and swami will see that lady in the same black sari and this is my black day and the swami will throw me out of the hostel not following swami's rules swami matal ante meer prepare chese all that he will say he will tell what and throw him out of the hostel okay fine today is the last day i'm sitting in the prayer hall bhajan hall afterwards i will be part of devotees line i mentally started preparing and every 11th minute 12th minute it is increasing tension is increasing sir what are you going to do i said i am not going to do anything i am surrendering to his will i am not going to tell that lady whatever sami wants to tell me let him tell i am ready to accept dab door opens i am sitting in the bhajan hall door here this door an interview room door i can directly see from there sami like that is telling you told her she changed her like that i you know my face is all gone i didn't know to say this way or this way i don't know what to do i was just looking remember this is the beauty of lord when he talked to me from the interview room next to his chair i saw four sarees patu sarees silk sarees were there that is for usually after the program they'll give i saw four sarees there immediately bulb glow ah something i will do now and then i got up and stood there same happiness swami came thinking that my student has done job and this lady must have changed her sari when he entered black and i was in black and white i didn't know what to do chapaleda didn't you tell then immediately swami meeri em anukopothe nenu okati cheppana swami if you don't mind can i request you one thing enti cheppu tell me what swami after the program you usually give sari no yes why not you give before the program swami swami enduku i will tell her to change ah. come come immediately some say come come so immediately went to interview room and that same four sari which fell on my eyes you see that also god guides you that four sarees Swami you be in the interview room i'm telling Swami you be in the interview room give me 5 minutes time job is done and i picked up all four sarees close into your room door came running to this lady madam madam kya beta kya which color tumko jyada pasand hai which you like a lot kai ko swami is giving you ye color hamara paas nahi ye acha hai take madam take i gave that sari and then i said madam just swami surprised you no yes yes why not we surprise swami how 
you wear the saree now no before swami comes swami will feel very happy that when swami gave saree immediately you are wearing swami will feel very happy now yeah yeah but i have to go to r3 no 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 everything will be done here immediately i call the sec- that in charge bajanal in charge there is one small room where aarti plate everything is kept i told that lady open this room the room was open i said go there and change you leave your old saree there i told that seva the lady you fold and keep it in place ready and immediately i came and sat that lady immediately within 5 minutes she finished changed her saree she came and sat the door opens abba sai ram jai sai ram <clears throat> swami opens the door enters the prayer hall i told you that joyful face that many fold increase are re 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 kabhi change kiya swami said yes yes i did it so finally sir what sir how you think babu i did not think ra i surrendered either give sari or wear sari and go out i had only two choice i had only two choice luckily i am not wearing sari man i am in my white and white so that is how swami came to me burra ra burra he told me ha oh, brainy man brainy i said swami it is all your grace this is how swami it is not that he doesn't know that it's a boy to go and tell a lady it is a situational analysis he puts you in crisis and see how you bail out how you swim and how you come out but he never forsake you he is always with you provided you trust and you believe in him and then surrender to him he will show you the path that is why an intelligent person will open your mind a beautiful person will open your eyes but a loving and kind person a personality like swami always opens our heart when you throw a child you see the child face enjoying no fear why fear is not there because of the faith and the trust that my dad will hold me there is no doubt it enjoys adventure that is why somebody said when something which you do not know you have fear what will happen what will happen that situation is fear when sometimes when you are sitting in a roller coaster that is also a fear but that fear becomes an adventure adventurous fear but everywhere fear is there fear how you look at it fear how you accept it fear how do you face it that is why the best thing is trust him and have faith in him that is why swami says where there is faith there is love where there is love there is peace where there is peace there is truth where there is truth there is god and where there is god there is always bliss you want bliss start with faith i am a teacher so i thought i will do a bit of not the management class as he said a spiritual class swami has given us a lot of spiritual activities we do nagar sankirtan we do japa we do bhajans we read books we listen to satsang we listen to swami's discourse we do lot of spiritual activities may you know why we do all this not to help others but to bring change in us not to bring change in others but to glorify us not to inculcate faith in us but strengthen our faith so these are all the things that god wants you to do and he lived 85 years and as example and he has given empty number of opportunities and ideas for us to emulate and follow and make our life sanctified for us every time when we meet each other we always say sairam sairam always we say sairam sairam it is only sai family says sairam sairam anywhere you see bus stand railway station anywhere sairam first comes sairam then only comes everything to that extent 
that Sai Ram has become part and parcel of our system. How far you are spiritual? Have your own test. If I drop something down, I'll say, Ayo, yo, I dropped. Ah. So we make all noise or all wrong words, which we are not supposed to use. But when you slip your pen, your book, your cell phone, and when it falls down, you see what comes spontaneously from your lips. And if you happen to say, Sairam, you have passed your entrance exam. You say something else, you are yet to face exams. So this is how you yourself, how much of Sai is in you, how much of spirituality is in you? How much of Baba is in you? How much of faith of Swami is in you? How much you are in Swami can be assessed. Others should not say. You yourself can gauge, guess, assess, assert yourself. Yes, I am on the right path. Because where, when, how we will live, we do not know. How you live is not important. How you leave this body is very important. When you leave, you must, on the lips, leave the words, Sairam. Not necessarily Sairam. Swami says, any chosen name of God, it can be Allah, it can be Rama, it can be Jesus, it can be Krishna, whichever God, you are favorite God, think of Him, because in times of need, when this happens to you, even without your knowledge, the God stands next to you to protect you. Swami said, my life is my message. He lived 85 years. He has done so much for the common man, for all humanity. He has given us, he has written books, given hundreds of discourses, he has touched millions of hearts, including you and me. I think it is time now. Let our life is your message. Change our life. And our life should be his message. I think we can definitely do that. And that is a gratitude that we can show to our dear Lord. Thank you. God bless you all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Samarpan team, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for being here. God bless you all. Jai Sai Ram.